friends. It has been a long time, but I'm super excited. We're gonna go in the kitchen and we're gonna make a gluten-free bread that is easy on the tummy. It's filled with protein and fiber. It tastes amazing. And honestly, I think it's one of the easiest breads you could ever make. I have made so many variations um, and have adapted it in so many ways that I finally feel like I've really found the great combination. Tweaking it a little bit here and there, depending on what you have in your pantry, of course, and for your dietary needs. But it's like a base recipe that I think you can just make amazing, whether it's savory or sweet. Um, yeah, you're gonna love it. Come along with me, let's go make it. It's, it's awesome. And I think that you should all give it a try. Okay, let's go, come on. All right, gather your ingredients. I used apple cider vinegar, three egg whites, ground hemp hearts, baking powder, salt, almond flour, psyllium husk, buckwheat flour, herbs, and some garlic and onion. Heat up your water to a boil and put parchment paper in your loaf pan. You're gonna separate your egg whites and make sure that they are at room temperature and reserve your egg yolks for another recipe. I always save, I don't like to waste. Next, you're gonna pour two and a half tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and give both ingredients a good mix. Next, I added one and one fourth cup almond flour and one fourth cup buckwheat flour. Just keep in mind, it's a one to a half a cup ratio. You're going to add three tablespoons of ground hemp hearts, two tablespoons of psyllium husk, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan sea salt. Now I typically use ground flax meal, but I ran out and boy am I glad that I did because the hemp hearts were awesome. You're gonna add three fourths of a cup of your boiling hot water to the mix and get everything incorporated really, really well. Next I added a half a teaspoon of onion powder, garlic powder, parsley, and oregano. You can add really any spices or herbs of your choice depending on what type of flavor you're looking for. Incorporate everything, mixing it, and you're gonna want it to form into a dough-like consistency. And I just folded it with my spatula and I added a little bit more water just so that I see everything's coming together nicely. Put your parchment paper nice and even into your pan. This is very important because the bread will stick. Next, I just dropped spoonfuls of the batter into the pan and started shaping it into a loaf. Um, I kind of smoothed out the sides and the top, um, but not really pressing down or anything. You still want to keep some of that air because the bread will rise slightly. Place into a 350 degree oven and bake for an hour and 14 minutes. This is very crucial, so pay attention to the temp and time. Also, let your bread cool completely. It takes about 30 minutes and I promise it will be delicious. Hey friends, okay, so my bread is out and it is gorgeous and beautiful and um, I cut it in half and then in thirds because I wanted to see if it would fit in my container here. I like to keep it airtight um, sealed just for its freshness and I like to also keep it in the fridge. It's a very moist bread. Um, it's got lots of air though and a nice crust on the top. This bread is a little denser than your typical uh, all-purpose flour bread, uh, but it has amazing flavor and I think you're gonna be really happy when you make it. Try it. I love to toast it and put butter on it or make sandwiches out of it. Um, and this bread also slices amazing. It's so easy and I love it because you can cut your slices as thick or thin as you like. I cut them on the thinner side. See, the slices cut perfect. Look at that. They make the perfect size sandwich um, and the flavor is amazing. So I highly recommend you go make this. Give it a try. Um, you can change up your ingredients. I have used everything from almond flour to coconut flour to the buckwheat. I've used xanthan gum, small amounts, uh, arrowroot, tapioca starch, you name it. Anything that's gluten-free or if you want a nut-free, you can use that as well. Um, and psyllium husk is perfect for the fiber. It also helps give it some um, air like gluten would. The flax, chia, I use the hemp today, so just go make this and give it a try. I want to hear how it works for you. Enjoy.